We turn now to the other major news this Monday evening into the war in Ukraine. Tonight, a major victory for the Ukrainians in what could be a turning point in this war. Ukrainian forces claiming to have retaken more than 40 towns in just a matter of days. And tonight, we've learned that in some cases, they have pushed Russian soldiers right back into Russia. Reports those Russian troops fleeing in disarray, some surrendering in some places, leaving heavy equipment behind in the east near Kharkiv, the second largest city. And the images tonight, look at this, people greeting Ukrainian soldiers with hugs. Tonight, of course, major questions among them. How will Putin respond with Russia tonight already taking steps to inflict damage in Kharkiv when it comes to water and power now? ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge from Ukraine tonight. Tonight, a stunning breakthrough for Ukraine. It's troops on the attack in this dramatic new video. Surging forward, claiming to ambush a Russian vehicle. Kloy, kloy, kloy. Ukraine's lightning advance in the east, routing Russian forces, which retreated in a hurry. Tonight, a senior U.S. defense official saying Russia has largely ceded their gains to the Ukrainians near Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, with many Russian soldiers crossing back into Russia. In the process, abandoning vast amounts of weaponry and entire stocks of ammunition. Ukraine's huge gains, seen here in yellow, claiming to take back more than 2,300 square miles, larger than the size of Delaware. David pressing President it. Zelensky about the scope of Ukraine's counteroffensive counter and whether this could be a turning point. Zelensky people, saying there must remain an element of surprise. The counteroffensive that we're witnessing in Kherson right now is not the only counteroffensive underway in this country. I can't discuss details of uh, any military actions. I think that uh, uh, information silence is important. So I want uh, that uh, the enemy gets some surprises from us. And tonight, that surprise paying off. Ukrainian flags flying again over key strategic cities. Emotional scenes, Ukrainian troops greeted as liberators in videos circulating online. This man saying the Russians were here in the morning, then suddenly started shouting and ran away. And with the Russians gone, bodies are being dug up. Ukrainian officials saying there are 1,000 new war crimes investigations now underway in just one newly liberated city. Tonight, even the Kremlin acknowledging its retreat and retaliating. Russian missiles destroying a power station in Kharkiv, knocking out power to thousands, trapping people in subways. President Zelensky tonight calling it terror and a sign of Russia's desperation. But the situation for Moscow could get worse. Are we going to see more gains by the Ukrainians in the coming days? Oh, definitely, days? definitely. Uh, there's going to be advances down in the southeast, and I think that a lot more towns and cities will be liberated. Tom's interview there with a member of Ukrainian parliament today. Tom Sufi Burridge with us from Kyiv again tonight. And Tom, the larger question obviously looming, I mentioned there at the beginning, how will Russia respond to these Ukrainian victories and this ongoing counteroffensive against the Russians? Uh, what, I'm curious what the Pentagon's saying tonight about uh, Putin's potential response here, if there's going to be a larger response of any kind. Yeah, David, a senior U.S. military official saying Russia has conducted increased airstrikes over the weekend, targeting civilian infrastructure, causing widespread blackouts. Right now, the Russian military is on the back foot. Putin's in a weakened position. U.S. officials clearly watching closely how he will respond. David? Appears to be a significant turn. We'll see if it lasts. Tom Sufi Burridge tonight. Tom, our thanks to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.